Yes, welcome to today's discussion. I will be discussing Fathers of Nations by Paul B. Vita. And this time I will focus on stylistic devices. But the one I will be uh, introducing today is uh, dialogue. Yeah, dialogue, we need to understand what it is before. I will look at several examples that we have across the book. Uh, to begin with, uh, what is this dialogue? Dialogue is um, a direct conversation eh, between two or more characters, or it could be a conversation between two different groups of people, or a conversation between an individual and a certain group of people in the text. Uh, we have several examples in this book, Fathers of Nations by Paul B. Vita. There are several examples of dialogue, and this uh, marks the main, uh, the main stylistic device because it is very common and rampant in the entire book. First of all, when we look at pages 2, 16 and 19, it is evident that there is dialogue between the guide, who is Mr. Abiola, and uh, the four strangers who check in at the Seamount Hotel at different times. That is uh, Pastor, Kima, uh, Pastor Chimaka, Dr. Kimari, uh, Comrade Melusi, and Engineer Tahir. These individuals check in at Seamount Hotel at different times, and they are given different rooms at different wings, as well as uh, at different floors. Yeah, so there is that dialogue between their guide, who is Mr. Abiola, or Dr. Mm -hmm. Afolabi, and uh, each one of them. Another example of dialogue that we get to understand is uh, the dialogue between the journalist, Miss Mackenzie, and the guide, Dr. Afolabi, where Fiona calls Dr. Afolabi for the interview. So when they come together for that interview, they have a dialogue. Uh, this is evident uh, from page seven, uh, four to seven there of this book. There is also dialogue between Tony and her dad, her dad, Professor Kimani. In it, he tells her about MPs. When they hold a discussion about MPs, that is Dr. Kimani and her daughter, uh, his daughter Tuni. His daughter Tuni is given this name. It's evident that he's given this name uh, because uh, he was born in Tunisia. Yeah, that is why the daughter is called Tuni. There's also another example of dialogue in this particular book. That is uh, the dialogue between Asiya and uh, her husband, Professor Kimani, as she tells him of her resolution to marry newborn Walong, who is the MP. So this is found in page 33 of this book. So between MP Walong and Professor Kimani, there is also another dialogue which is evident when uh, Kimani confronts the MP about marrying his wife, uh, Asiya Omoni. That is also evident, as you can see. As we go by, we also get to understand that uh, there is a dialogue between Tad and Sahib Tahir about the uh, 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 Tad's joining Agda. That is uh, the organization which is meant to, to fight for uh, Path Alpha in Africa. So as they talk more about the history of Libya, uh, this is found on page 124. So we also get to uh, understand that uh, Fiona and Longway, or Tad Longway, have uh, a conversation or a dialogue between uh, them that is through a phone call. 
at the booth of Seamount Hotel and over a drink at Seamount Hotel. Uh, this one is evident in page 134 as well as 137. Dr. Afolabi and Fiona Mackenzie also have a dialogue uh, in Dr. Afolabi's room at the Seamount Hotel where Afolabi confirms that he is the guide uh, is the guide for the three or the, four, the individuals who come in uh, especially to represent uh, Agda so he is their guide he confirms this uh, through that conversation or the dialogue that they have with uh, Fiona McKenzie in addition we also have uh, another example of dialogue. There is dialogue between uh, Dr. Afolabi and the other presidents that is at the summit, at the summit uh, in Gambia. So it, this one is evident on page 154. In this dialogue, uh, Dr. Afolabi invites his counterparts to talk about Path Alpha. We also have another dialogue where President Bangora, with the con uh, he, he, he has a dialogue with the congregants at the summit as he leads them in making a choice between Path Alpha and Path uh, and Way Omega. That is uh, evident in, on page 140. So it is very clear that uh, this book has several examples of uh, dialogue among characters. So there's also another dialogue evident that uh, Tad Longway and Professor Kimani engage in a dialogue as Tad tries to convince Professor to join Agda. Agency for Growth and Development of Africa. That is the full meaning of AGDA, A-G-D-A. Agency uh, for the Growth and Development of Africa. This is found on page uh, 39. There is also another dialogue that is evident. The dialogue which happens among Leo, Fiona, and uh, Dr. Afolabi. In the process, Dr. Afolabi rescues Fiona, then takes her to his room at the Seamount Hotel, uh, as evident on page 59. Tad Longway and Dr. Afolabi also hold a dialogue about his address at the Foundation for the Democratic Rule when Longway had come to talk to him about acting as a guide to path alpha. Uh, there is also another dialogue which is evident uh, among uh, Haisa, Pamela and Dr. Afulabi. They talk about his new wife from the village who had been brought by his cousin Femi to help Dr. Afulabi in bearing children since his wife doesn't want to have children. This is evident on page uh, 75. There is also another dialogue uh, that uh, Comrade Melusi and Tad Longway engage in a dialogue where Melusi tells Longway how he fought for freedom in Zimbabwe. Longway has come to convince Melusi to also join Agda. That is page 99. Uh, lastly, we also have uh, Tad and Chiamaka uh, having a dialogue on phone call about joining Agda. It's also evident on page 116. So when we look at uh, this book, this book is uh, full of 
dialogue, as you can see, and as you've heard. Several characters engage in a, in a dialogue which uh, brings about uh, an agreement on something or a resolution on some issues, like others are being convinced to join Agency for Growth and Development of Africa. Uh, maybe through a, a physical dialogue or a phone call dialogues. Uh, I hope that's all about uh, dialogue. I will talk more about other stylistic devices, among them flashback, in my subsequent video. Thank you for watching.